<laughs> How y'all doing? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good day indeed. It's salt and sanctuary time. I think I've got everything working right. I kind of rushed in here to try and get this one going. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay impression. Ugh, we'll see if I can do that. I'm gonna put the stream on Twitter. Uh, I would need to revamp the or revamp, <laughs> remap the controls to make it like Dark Souls. Hey, hey, right. I will keep that in consideration. Because here we are for Salt and Sanctuary to start things off. Hey, I know. I'll use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan. Just to let you guys know that it's there. <laughs> Call everyone a donkey. It's going to be fun. Don't usually swear, but... <laughs> If I could pull off a good Gordon impression, maybe swearing would be in uh, would be called for. I'm not confident in my Gordon abilities though. Is the sound working? Hold well, on, let me check if it is. <laughs> Sauce. Ah, there it is. There's the sound. Now, one thing I forgot to do, boop, boop, boop. Now, wait, okay. Good. <laughs> now I need to gather some Gordon Ramsay clips. Or Cleo's, as it were. He's a great guy, actually subscribed on YouTube. Oh yeah. Gordon's great. I've even seen some of his TikToks, and I don't watch TikTok. <laughs> so. All right, but let's, let's not drag our feet here. We've got Captain Kitchen to create. What is name? I think it might be a little uh, delayed. Hold on. Give me about five seconds. There we go. Ah, cute anime panda. Hello, welcome. You're just in time for the beginning of the adventure. If it'll fit, we can just go straight up Captain Kitchen. If there's a character limit, we can just shorten it to CPT. No limit. Boom. <laughs> Gorgon Ramses. That's a great name, honestly. But some prerequisite uh, lore has already been established. Prerequisite. I should stop saying that word if I have such trouble with it. Yeah. We got him. That's our name. That's his name. <laughs> Gorgon Ramses is his ex. For sure. All right, unkempt is already looking pretty similar. 
I should just look at the... Just look off a picture. Try to make him look as close like uh, him as possible. He's wearing a hat, so it's hard to get an exact uh, metric, but... Hold on. Okay. Chef. There we go. <laughs> Interesting. It takes off the hat so we can see the hair. Cool. I uh, played a bit more another Eden after the stream. Oh, I downloaded that, but I forgot to start it up. Ah, Moo Cookie, hello. How you doing? <laughs> Iron Mane. Yeah, looking off of his, it's short. Something like unkempt is probably the the closest available. And probably either Blonde or Lynx might be uh, his hair. His hair is pretty, pretty, pretty dang light. Almost grayish, really. Uh, turns out not inspired by Chrono Trigger. It's not just inspired, it has the Chrono Trigger script writer. No kidding. And immediately looking at the screenshots of the game... I saw frickin' Glenn just right there, so. The manga ended today? Ooh, big. But the ending is bad? Oh no. And when you say bad, I don't even want to know. Yeah, for anyone for reference, uh, he's got an image of him right there. I think Lynx or Silver might be <laughs> Cloud. That's an interesting way of referring to White. It doesn't have to be an exact match of him because it's supposed to be him earlier, so... This is the beginning of his life. When he was still a promising up-and-comer in the restaurant scene. Feels forced? Forced. Oh, dear. Yeah, don't talk about the... <laughs> the ending, but... Whiskers. He needs his mustache. <laughs> Excuse me, mustache. Even the Ravage? Nah. Ah, oh, he's already starting to come together. <laughs> A lot of salt surrounding the ending, huge meltdowns. I can't wait for us to get there. You know, I, mean, I, I, I can't get a good read on his eyes. In this shot, they look almost red. I guess, I guess it's just because he's went crazy, but... <laughs> I can pick a point of... Oh! Oh, oh gosh. Cadania? Where's Italy? <laughs> oh, gosh. Citadel, Door Isle. Naturally, he's a fairly light uh, complexion. Scary is a nice uh, mid range. <laughs> Gulchmire is just green. Ah, Anders, welcome. <laughs> Salt and Sanctuary. That's what we're playing today. Yeah, I don't want to know about the ending. Scary and Door Isle look almost the same. I think Door Isle actually looks pretty good. Effects. Red shards. Okay, it means item. A stone cell sword. An amber idol, grasping ring, crystal sphere. Insult and sanctuary. 
insult. Red shards looks like a vial of healing of some kind. And we've got our trusty frying pan, and dude, this is going to be the best. <laughs> Beat the bat boss several streams ago. And we used uh, the glitch. What do any of these items even frickin' do? Wish I had a description. Now, the game was revealed as a new project by Masato Kato, who had written and directed Chrono Cross and wrote parts of Xeno <coughs> uh, uh, Gears and Chrono Trigger. Well, now you have piqued my interest immensely, and I'm definitely going to check it out, but... <laughs> it's totally going to be his quest to find rare salt. He's off trying to find ingredients. And he just so happens to land in the place with salt. And salt is delicious. He didn't find it, so he went mad. Let's see. So... Let's see if I can look up what these things are. They're optional and only there to help new players. We don't even have to take them. <laughs> Red Shard is healing like I thought. Uh, the Cell Sword grants a shield blocking bonus to the Sanctuary. The Idol can be used for transmutation, whatever that means. Oh, uh, it can transmute weapons to class 2 or 3. Okay. And the Ring, it provides 10% more salt. So, lore-wise, I think that would be pretty fitting. Uh, the sphere turns a sanctuary into a creed, whatever the frick that means. Creed? Yeah. He must find the mythical lamb sauce. He's been hunting for it. It's amazing how much this actually kind of looks like him, given the relatively limited options. As much as fun as it would have been making him Gordon Ramsay instead, that's not going to stop us from making all the Gordon Ramsay jokes we want. Challenge. Hmm. I don't know how to turn on a challenge, but apparently there are challenges. His reoccurring nightmare is him uh, being in a cooking competition and his secret ingredient is stolen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if we didn't already have Captain Kitchen made up, we would have 100% gone Gordon Ramsay. But then again, if we didn't have Captain Kitchen, we probably wouldn't be playing this game at all. That much is true. I think we've got him. I think we've got him down. I think we're good to venture forth with the good captain here. Yeah, Food Wars. I'm sure that would be rich for the jokes. Also, I like that facial hair is called whiskers. <laughs> I guess that's fair. The world has known war for centuries. But peace is finally preciously near. Hooray! We deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea where a marriage alliance would save us all. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. Probably. 
start with a potato, yeah. Ah, here we are. Okay. Yep. No, no, no. Now it wouldn't be Dark Souls as we can smash some pots. Oh, hello, sir. Ow! You there, stranger! You've been boarded in the night. Well, you want to kidnap our lady. Ransom her. Up! Oh! You scoundrel! <laughs> you can uh, do little counters. Ah, my legs! He was no match. If that was audacity, he's dead. <laughs> so, no. Uh, yeah, the rolling is not O, so what is it? Wait. Oh gosh, I don't know what button to, to use here. Oop. Okay, that's potato. R1 is potato. L1 is, uh... Okay, it's switching between, uh, two-handed. I would prefer it not to be two-handed. <laughs> just says, yes, chef. If I knew anything about modding games like this, I would put tons of those. Circle is use. R2 is roll for some reason. How do I change it? Yeah, thank is of course the F word in this case. How do I change it? Because it seems, for some reason, all I can alter is the accept and cancel. That, that can't be right. When you played it, you were able to change it, but it doesn't seem it's going to let me. At least, uh, not at all intuitively. Oh yes, I would love to be able to make X or circle cancel and accept, but nothing else. Come on, there's got to be a way. I need to find some Gordon lines to add to the to the soundboard. I guess for now I'll just have to to deal with the fact that they decided to make Dodge Roll R2. They know everyone playing this has played Dark Souls, right? <laughs> so why would they not make it circle? It might have to be in the main menu. So that's something we'll have to deal with later. A ladder. Uh-oh. No, my friend! Ugh. Don't beat up my subordinates. These are my kitchen aids. I'll save you! Oh, come on! Ugh. Ugh. Ow! You're no match. Don't make me throw potatoes at you. Ooh, you're good. He's got blocks. Yeah, only seven streams? That's, uh, doable. Oh, no. Huh. <laughs> ah! Cthulhu! Captain Kitchen, no! Look at the sounds of waves washing on rock. And I knew I was alive. Or in hell. Who knows? We gotta find the princess. And you gotta help us. Ugh. Oh, what happened? At least it's not raining. 
Then I need to use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan. <laughs> Cthulhu Chan followed us. <laughs> I'm assuming this does take place after Demon Souls. Demon Souls is the beginning of the timeline, after all. And Tay, hello. How you doing? Shivering Shore. Ah, greetings. Are you Audacity? Well, hello there. You're just a fleshy bit of floatsome wash the shore with the rest of us, hmm? You'll want shelter. You'll want sanctuary. You'll want salt. But what is a sanctuary without faith? I have no faith. There's an empty sanctuary up the beach. You can claim it for your creed. Tell me, do you keep the new gods? You mean Charlotte? Hmm... He hasn't struck me as a godly type of man. Wait, you can remap them in PC, but not PlayStation. Why? I'll learn. Yeah, Fetus did not finish off Cthulhu Chan. Hmm, got our assignments done for the day? Nice. Hey, sorry, man. You don't keep the new gods. Rare. So you're a pilgrim of Devara. Your sword has been dying out for centuries, I'm afraid. Yes, the ways of the chef are lost to us. He keeps to the old gods, not the new. <laughs> Yankee Danky Doodle. I, I love that clip, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, I guess that works. Maybe we're just lying to him. You're Pilgrim to Vaz Light, then. Are we? Honey worships one god, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay is the god of all chefs, of all those who practice food preparation. That's how I see it. Six boiled eggs? Have fun with that. I mean, that sounds good, actually. Hmm, the Iron Ones? The Three. <laughs> Imagine saying, oh, it's not the Goddess of Light. Then what is it? The Goddess of Light. Uh, did I use, uh... The Shikage, or however they pronounce it, I always said Shikage in Bloodborne. I have not uh, made a build using it, but I have used it. It can be tricky, of course, because you got to use your own blood for the friggin' thing. But if you spec into Blood Tinge, I think it can be pretty good. If not complicated. Because you got to prime it if you want to do the most damage. Uh, by the way, when am I bringing back uh, Fate Zero? I recorded another commentary, another post-commentary, uh, a couple nights ago for episode 8. I just haven't, uh, managed to edit it all the way yet. <laughs> He's not really a god, more like a, a Buddha-esque figure. Yeah, like a holy man type deal. I don't know what difference it makes picking a creed. The iron ones sounds about right, though. Iron, because frying pans are made of iron, you see. They believe in no gods. <laughs> Believing instead in the iron will of man. That sounds about right. <laughs> they love steel, but hate magic. Hey, I picked the right one. Are you a member of the iron ones, then? Yes, sir. No gods will help you here. Except this metal icon. Enjoy. It's an egg on a pedestal. Oh. <laughs> the bird noise freaked me out for a second. Yes, his frying pan has strength because he worships the iron ones. Oh. 
Alright, uh, thanks, man. You have to excuse me. A bottle. It tells me, uh, how to shield. Ah, to parry. Yeah! I want to dual wield frying pans and parry with the other frying pan. Even this music sounds like Sally Face, if the art style wasn't enough to make you think of that. Roll. Mm -hmm. Why wasn't it circle, you fools? Hey, you. Ow. Smack, a smack, a smack, ow. Smack. You're a tough one. I'll take your treasure. No, my treasure! Ooh. Right, you want to try a, a new style rather than just using like the saw cleaver and the Bloodwick's crazy friggin' sword. Okay, okay. Another thing about Butch Hartman. Let's add it to the list. Now, when it says switch loadout, does that mean just two-handing it, or am I switching to a two-handed pan? I mean, I could always, of course, download in legal ways the PC version, but it's not that big a deal. I'll just learn. Well, actually, Butch Harmon did not state that himself. Uh, I figured that was what you were going to bring up. He did not state that. He advertised for... Uh, for a certain church who stated that. he It's more likely than not that he shares their beliefs, but it is inaccurate that he said it himself. He has stated, um, well, he, like, uh, the church he advertised stated that they, through faith, had cured autism. Now, using the word cure is uh, the main source of the problem. Well, there's my metal icon. Don't know what it's good for. Mm. My sanctuary. Good jokes. It's mine. All the salt here belongs to I, to Antoine. Yeah. <laughs> he has said and done stupid things. And some people just say and do stupid things. That serious look that's always on our face is very <laughs> befitting. Quite honestly. Hmm. Smack it down. Mm, mm. You trying to sneak up on me? You're nowhere near as good as the guys from Demon Souls. Whoop! <laughs> I was gonna try to go for a rolling attack, but a pouch of salt? Soul Blood Ring. Oh yeah, I can jump. Wow. 
Rotten Walker's ear. Is there fall damage? I assume there is. Feels weird to be able to jump. Huh, red shards. Epic. Hardy roll. I thought it was a baked potato, but <laughs> hey, I'll take what I can get. No, well, that's true. They're walkers, which means they're zombies, which means dead rising, it connects very well. <laughs> oh no, you poor fools. A fellow chef! You shall not die in vain, my brother. See another platformer on the channel. Well, of course we were going to eventually. A festering banquet. Oh, a banquet! <laughs> well, I'm happy to be here. We were a trained apprentice of Gordon Ramsay himself. It's gonna be kitchen nightmares all up in this. What's this game about? It's Dark Souls, but in 2D, basically. Sniped over here. It truly is like Dark Souls. Ow. I'm gonna have to adapt to that dodge rolling thing. Oh, it doesn't heal you immediately, just gradually does it? Oh, no. There's gotta be a better way. I hate games that do that. Whoop. Torch and throwing daggers. Those will be useful. I assume. Ah, more salt. And a stone merchant. Which I assume just summons a merchant to the sanctuary. Whoa! How'd we do that? We did like an uppercut. One of Antoine's most powerful signature techniques. Or Antoine. I always forget how he says his fucking name. I'll have to play Dead Rising 2 again. And oh! <gasps> Drink up! This, these red shards are, aren't good for anything. They suck. Is there a better way to heal than this? Because these are useless. Food. It's not like I can eat the potatoes. Maybe the pouch of salt can help. Do they not have screens that let me see what they are? Okay, they do. Quotes. Salt on his brow, for it is the essence of his life. Okay, it's a Bible salt. Okay, the hearty roll does restore HP. Well, that's good. Quite a bit better. <laughs> Significantly better. Thank you for being a chef. Yeah, we don't know much about the iron ones yet, but... They were just guys who didn't believe in God and believed in the strength of mankind. Ah, 
dodge rolled into that one. Who's that? I see you over there, buddy. Let's see if we can huck a potato at him. <laughs> the sound. <laughs> Quick, go! Oh no, oh! Hey. Hmm. It blocks our path. Wait, hold on. Mm. Uh oh, zombies hiding in. I'm glad the frying pan actually seems to be a reliable weapon. <laughs> and it can actually seemingly uh, take him out with ease. Just gotta start upgrading it. Do the bosses ever fight the zombies in Dead Rising? Oh yeah. If uh, any zombies walk into the fight while you're fighting them, they will attack the zombies. And the zombies will attack them. Yeah, I mean, zombies just were the ultimate thing that we needed to seal the deal when it came to lore. This way leads... Ooh, shortcut. Boom. Uh, you weren't trying to argue with the opinion? That's all right. It's just a discussion. Hmm, I see something over there in the dark, but I can't reach it. Is that a... A what? A freaking wolf? <laughs> okay, he's gone. Bell of Return. Very Dark Souls. Hmm. Just having a hard time getting over the fall of a creator that you've always admired. Yeah. It's rough. Given the things that he has certainly done, it is, he has fallen a bit. That much is for sure. Very questionable actions, and uh, you'd think he would be doing better. Oh, using the sanctuary gives you the food again, and respawns enemies, of course. Your typical souls nonsense. And of course, yeah, separate the creator from the creations. I'm not gonna disregard Fairly Odd Parents or Danny Phantom just because of things he's done 20 years after it. I just don't think that's fair. Skills. Hooray! Useless red shards. I'm glad I didn't pick you as my starting thing because they suck. Your turn. Fall damage, boy. Come on, knock off. Aw, he doesn't fall. So be it. Ah, good point. <laughs> I hadn't considered Tangled yet, but yeah. Everyone knows frying pans are the most superior of weapons. And if you just want something blunt, it actually would be pretty good. Ah, Rogue. Well, we're not Rogue, so... Ow. Bring it on!
Uh, fun fact, Captain Kitchen can pretty much make a healthy meal wherever he is. All he needs is the flesh of his enemies and wherever plants happen to be growing around. Really? Because that's awesome. Yeah, you don't have to hate the creations just because the creator happens to be a jerk. Granado. <laughs> yes, my favorite, Granado. Whoop! Down we go. Po ho ho! Took off his torso. Now that's Captain Kitchen. That is <laughs> gruesome Dead Rising level. A bandaged ring. Might as well add it on. A ring of powerful healing. It's where it may suffer injury, but lasting wounds will be made less severe. In other words, reduces wounding effect. Blech. Yeah, this guy you're talking about seems like a, a total freak, but that is some scary stuff. Just like zombies, they keep coming back. Even without reloading. Just returning of their own accord. Uh, wolf and that guy? No thanks. Long-lasting wounds. So you're saying that it causes... It doesn't look like... I don't know if it actually causes any negative effects. I think it's just saying stuff. Like, it's just trying to be deep and metaphorical. Oh, okay. The ring just helps with them. That's what I thought. Oh, dear. <laughs> Potato. Exact same throwing range. Ow. You were a lot weaker than I thought. Ho ho ho, yeah. Right out of the sky. Beware darkness, inside is light. Oh no, I'm scared. Is he already a psychopath here? Probably not. I mean, the idea in Dead Rising is that, is that they became psychopaths after the zombies hit. They probably weren't the most stable people beforehand, but I don't think he's fully crazy yet. Do you think that making more seasons than you have to is forcing relevancy? Is it being desperate for views? I don't think that's necessarily the problem. That it's necessarily forcing relevancy. But it can be, making more than you have to is just for the sake of, uh, you know, the business side. Of keeping it going because it's still maintaining relevancy of its own accord and making the company money. That's true, there are zombies here. This could just be ground zero, you could say. Uh-oh. I didn't realize we were fighting a boss. Okay. Oh! Ow. Okay. 
Okay, I'll figure you out yet. Uh oh. Thank you for my hearty rolls. Whoa! I didn't expect that. Followed up. This ain't gonna end well. Ooh, that was cool. We did the jump past each other thing. We, where only he got slashed, though. Sweet. Oh! Dang, man. He stole all my salt! Saturated with liquid. Right. What a dip. You die, you suck. <laughs> it was pretty easy. As far as uh, reconnaissance goes, that was a pretty good run. He did get more complicated as we went into the second wave because he started to combo in into his attacks a lot more. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I like this. Hmm. Is the frying pan a sword? <laughs> what is it classified as? There's a lot here. That's what he says when I die. Let's open it and see. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly it. Yeah, there's more stuff there than person Fallout 4. There's a whole friggin' lot. Look at this. Jeez, um. This is like Skyrim. If not more than that, really. <laughs> so. I ain't gonna touch that mage's garbage. There you are, sir. Maybe one of our kind NPCs is Audacity. Who knows? Glowing shot. He sells the useless red shards. Bit of pitch fire. Okay, yeah, there's separate currency in this, which is not like Dark Souls. There's gold and there's salt, which is interesting. And you can just basically exchange gold for salt. Cool. And a salt seeker's ring. Okay. It reveals the location of my missing salt. Why isn't that just inherent? I don't know. It's not a perk tree, it's a perk vineyard. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know where to begin with that thing. I still have some salt packets.
Boom. <laughs> ah, the one with a hundred salt apiece? Oh well, let's kill some zombies. They only give about 22 for a kill. Yeah, they're just strong enough to where I need one extra shot in my combo. Yeah, it probably would have helped if they gave you item descriptions at character creation, but... Does anyone know who John A. Davis is? Yeah. They made Jimmy Neutron. Oh, Netflix doesn't number the episodes. I'd have to just either count them up or you can just tell me the titles then, yeah. Ow. Uh, I think I checked this door, but it just uh, it doesn't open. Yeah, it's just locked. Would I be okay with the reboot of Jimmy Neutron that's 2D animated? Would I be okay with it? Uh, I wouldn't want them to, just because it being 3D is kind of its one of its defining attributes. The wolves are surprisingly weak. They looked a lot more intimidating than they actually are. Ooh, skull bat wing. White bear season, okay. Don't even try it, buddy. Just sit back and get wrecked. We are the king of cuisine. No zombie can best us. Ooh, they followed me. Ah! You obnoxious little man bat. Get over here. I hate 2D stairs. By the way, what's that thing down there that I can hit with the, the freaking D-pad? I don't see it in my inventory anywhere. Iron pot, that is not a pot, that is a, that is a pan, I'm sorry. Yeah, it says if I hit down on the D-pad, use that thing. Narcissistic Lodian. <laughs> oh, bad idea. I just need slightly more if I want to level up once, which is what I want to do. <laughs> there we go.
Uh oh. That could have ended badly. No, no, no. No, no. Just trying to get down. Oh, this is going to be bad. Okay. Whoa, whoa, they changed. That was a chef before, and now it took out the pumpkin head. You just keep hanging new people every day. Every time it says Shivering Shore, I think it says Shivering Stone. I don't know why. Okay. Send it to level two. What the heck? What is the square and the triangle? Well, take me to two, baby. And I got the Black Pearl. <laughs> I was just watching Curse of the Black Pearl last night. Funny that. So wait, leveling up just gives you a Black Pearl, which you can then use to level up here. Strange. I can gain an additional healing potion. Yes. Sounds good. Do I have to start from the middle and work my way out? I assume so. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it. Don't know why but you love boiled eggs. I also love boiled eggs. Oh, there we go. Uh, Hollow Knight would be good for streams? I bet it would. And you just finished yesterday, so it's pretty good, right? <laughs> if only Captain Kitchen could go on freaking oh, Twitter especially, the salt would keep him stocked up for eternity. Having rested, we got an extra hearty roll. So does it give you different healing things depending on what class you are? Because that's kind of cool. Praise, praise, praise the salt. <laughs> As opposed to what I did last time. Oh, there's the pumpkin guy again. And a poor, defenseless, homeless individual. My goal is basically to get to the boss without getting hit. Or at least uh, getting hit as few times as possible. Oh no, that ain't happening now with the stupid bats. You gotta be kidding me! Fine, let's go! I'm not even gonna take your gold. Because screw you. Ping with Creed, because like if it was Creed, that would be amazing that the Iron Ones gave you a roll. Hey, I'll have some bat soup. Boop. I <laughs> love the hittings. <laughs> He's just pushing him along. Yes. Whoop! Wait, hurry before he gets here. Go. Oh, that was close. Ah, stone blacksmith. I need that too. Beware of lightning. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Cannot dodge, use item. 
Captain A. Kitchen. I mean, technically that's what his name would be because uh, the A is uh, Antoine. Mr. Yeah, Potato Head yeah. sends his regards. <laughs> this sodden night's filled with liquids. He's got my souls, I see him. I seem to keep enough stamina on guard to dodge all out of the way at all times. Woohoo! Okay, don't stand right in front of him when he does that. That's the lesson to be learned. My salt! I don't have to kill him to get it back. Oh, that's sweet. That's a... Okay, that is very different from Dark Souls, and I appreciate the heck out of it. Oh, gotta watch out for those double-hit combos, man. No, 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 no! got mad. Once it goes lightning eyes, that's when the fight starts to get real. Otherwise, it's easy. <sighs> Try to attack him from behind as much as possible. Oh, do I not have invincibility frames? What the heck? Ah, he's, he's going to town on me. I can't do anything anymore. His aggression in this stage is very, very rough. I might have to give it one more shot after this. Just try to keep a better eye on the aggression, yeah. Whew, he's one of those bosses, okay. He's one of those bosses where the first phase is laughably easy, but the second phase, he gets really aggressive. I think with that one last reconnaissance, I think I'll have uh, what I need. Okay. And where's the lamb sauce if it loses? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the bait is amazing, where he shoots the lightning to make me jump and then slashes me out of the friggin' sky. It's a pretty clever boss, honestly. It's one of those really cool first uh, tutorial bosses, like Gundyr in Dark Souls 3. It basically teaches you all you need to know right out of the gate. What the? That shouldn't have happened. Ooh, 15 bolts. <laughs> I'm sure I could accomplish a zero death run after I've already gotten through the game. <laughs> but doing zero death run blind... Uh, one, I couldn't, I couldn't stream it because... Streaming inhibits uh, somewhat of my capability of playing these games right. I don't need to prove I don't suck. I know I do. Alright. Let's have it. Ah! 
Ah, oh, I tried to dodge roll out of that. It's hard to dodge roll away from that attack. You have to kind of dodge roll into it. Ooh, okay. If you're far enough away, you don't have to jump. Right at the edge. In fact, the hitbox of that shouldn't have even hit me. Oh no, it's... I got cheated. I should have dodge rolled through him, but I stopped at him. Too cautious. Oh, I'm dead. Very little in the way of openings. And then that attack where it freaking combos you is just death! Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more shots than this. That second phase is insane by comparison. Ugh. I'm getting impatient. Mostly because it's hot in here and I'm sweating. Hold on. Let me cool down a bit. Whew! Yeah. That, yeah, it's like you said, I'm getting greedy with hits. I'm getting impatient. Round four, three, four next. <laughs> Went to a, th uh, a thesaurus, and there are two words that weren't listed as synonyms that were supposed to be. <laughs> oh... I get it. Yuck, yuck, yuck. It sounds like the chorus from Gangster's Paradise. Also, Liar and Lawyer. Everyone knows that's the same thing. We've all seen Liar, Liar. Is there even more in the castle to explore? I thought I saw at least 90% of it by now. I can take him, it's just uh, a matter of finally <laughs> finding a proper uh, opening to attack him in his second phase and not getting greedy with hits. These bats are annoying. Oh my gosh! Leave me alone! I didn't come here to fight bats. I came here to fight zombies. Bait went out with a potato. I've never heard the song Gangster's Paradise. Given it was a huge meme starting with the, the Sonic movie trailer, yeah. does sound like Gangster's Paradise. <laughs> I didn't think about that. 
Oh, no, he started with it? Come on! Okay. And he did it again. Being really aggressive with the lightning. Oh, what? I need to go into gamer mode. Maybe that'll help. That upward strike does too. Now is where we die. Ah, dang, he's barely got me. He nicked me out of the sky. Oh, come on, he just sat there. Dodgeballs aren't enough to get away from him. Ah, oh, and then the range of that. I'm dead! Jeez. Ah. If I can get through that attack, it leaves him open. But if I can't, I'm dead. Instantaneously. I know your tricks, man. That attack is not an opening anymore. He even overkilled me. The lack of openings in the second phase. How much gold do I even have? Is it just gonna take all of it? Super uh, chef instead of a super soldier. Yeah. Obviously, he thinks he's fighting Captain America. Right. If I can... I mean, baiting him to the corner can help with the lightning, but it can also get me stuck. This is a very interesting first boss. I mean, this guy goes just, uh, Thunder God Thor mode on us. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like when the Hulk was fighting Thor in Ragnarok, man. It's just at first... You you're stomping him and then then turns the tables. Just like Hulk was doing before. Can I get over them without uh, baiting them? Uh, yeah. Might be more complicated to do it that way. It's Zombie Thor, yeah! No wonder we can't win. 
Captain America versus Thor. That's basically what we're seeing right now. It actually kind of makes sense when you look at it from that perspective. Oh, what? Oh, I can't believe it actually takes it when you're at full HP. I did it by accident. I think I'm over dodge rolling. Nah, that still hits me. Sometimes I can't just let him jump over me. It's too slow. Oh, that should not have hit me! I was underneath his freaking arm! Ah, dear. I'm always worried about that. Oh no, he's mad, he's mad, he's mad, he's mad! Oh wait, he didn't... turn around to me? I don't know which attacks he does the turn around on. That one. No, no, no! Oh, no! He can outpredict my moves sometimes, man! I forgot the backhand with the sword. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh he How did he hit me? Dang! I mean, even if we change the armor, we're still a chef, I guess, but... I don't know how much difference armor makes in this game. If it's anything like Souls, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, well, it seems to have pretty good strike defense. We lose a lot of chef flair. Put on the pants, though. It doesn't change anything. And we don't even have we don't even have any gloves, so yeah, I'll put on gloves. See how significant the difference is. Okay, yeah. It seems to have done a noticeable change, at least with the bats. So, thank you for the suggestion. Just, uh... Whoa! Why can't I go? Mm. 2D games with stairs have a problem. Ah, dang. I'll need a vial. Wait, oh, or just eat a roll by mistake. My brain is, for whatever reason, hardwired to think R1 shit moves it instead of the freaking D-pad. Ugh. Must be a Souls thing. Why are you talking about my fake names? The false Arceus is the canon one. I think you should hack your PS3 and Vita, personally. I mean, all it would do is void the warranty anyway, which I'm sure is already expired by now. I tried to dodge roll through him and I just didn't freaking do it. Ah, the, I forget that he does that in phase one. Gets me every time. Again. It gets me every freaking time because there's, uh, there's inconsistencies to its consistency, if that makes any sense. It doesn't. I'm gonna lose at phase one. The stab is safe. That attack is not. He'll usually follow up. I'm dead. I rushed into this all wrong. He keeps doing that! I 
gotta dodge away. I, I gotta dodge into it, not away from it. There's no way that should have hit me! Ugh! The hitboxes, man! Just one thing Souls-like games need, it's good hitboxes, and I'm not seeing much of that. He can hit me on the outside edge of the sword. I can get him now. I'm too low on health. I just need to find a good pattern. And that ain't it. Even dodging into it doesn't always work. Ugh. If he wants to hit you, he just will. Okay. Allow me to explain. I have a problem. Anytime I face a Soulsborne boss who, uh... If, you, if he has different attacks, where you have to either dodge into them and dodge away from them, those are the ones I have the most trouble with. That's why I'm getting screwed. Have you ever known anyone who was negatively affected by a voided warranty? Nope. Yes, be salty. Channel that salt power. Some of his attacks, you gotta dodge away. Some of them, you gotta dodge in. And my brain doesn't like that. What's that one doing? Are you gonna follow me now? I'm going to keep the rolls off my inventory until I walk in there. was that? Allow me to explain. <laughs> yeah. I just needed to make my glasses non-see-through for a second. Yes, everyone, please. Salt emojis right now. I'm gonna go into gamer mode. I don't know how I survived that at all. It knocked me out of gamer mode.
He didn't attack twice? What the heck? No way! If I had died right there, I would have been mad. Ah, he doesn't always do that. The inconsistency is so bad. He has, he has like three phases. In the third phase, he has no freaking openings, man. Nothing. Why can't I roll? Ah! Nothing else to heal with. No! I can't do it, guys. I can't. Yep, told you. I can't. That third face sucks. There are no consistent openings in it. None! Once he hits a quarter HP, it's just he constantly attacks. He gives you nothing to work with. I don't even know what to do about it. I can get all the way to there, but then once I do, I just can't get past it at all. 500 gold for one? Wow, they don't even know how much these things suck. I don't know what this emoji is. Let's just say it's salt. It's not like a bag of snow or something. So close, man. So close. <laughs> This boss fight is the frickin' gatekeeper. Captain Kitchen's first test to prove himself on the battlefield. Because I... Oh, I hate this. I hate the stairs. They really needed to do a better job of that. I know it's hard doing stairs in, in 2D. I know that, but there's got to be a better way. Are they canon like in Soulsborne or different? Who knows? If he has some kind of, uh... Some kind of immortality, he would again have to lose it before Dark Souls, uh, I mean, Dead Rising 2. Because he's very clearly not immortal in that game. There must just be something about the island we've landed on that cursed him with immortality that he will then eventually lose at the end of the game. I mean, I didn't see your question because I'm trying to fight uh, this dude, but... Phase 1 is so easy. Because he's predictable. <laughs> He's stalling. 
Then he uses an attack that leaves no opening. That should not have hit me. He smacked me on the, the backswing as I was going by. Ugh. My impatience is starting to get the better of me. This is a fight that takes so much patience, it hurts. Because you can't just rush in and attack. You will get a no. You will just get at. You'll get destroyed. Simple as that. I didn't say he's stalling as in Joseph Stalin, I meant that he's stalling. Stalling for time, but yeah, let's call him Stalin. That was an opening, but it's not consistent! I'm dead, right there. Freaking way! That should not have hit me! I was way out of. Oh, did you see that? The hitbox! It's terrible! It sucks! <laughs> Get me away from this boss! At least most of his attacks have good hitboxes. That one, it's just slightly bigger than it should be. Blech. Hitboxes are hard, man. Get off of me. I have a feeling, more like a hope in my soul, that- okay, screw this. That if we can get past this guy, we can get through the rest of it. But he's just a gatekeeper. Yeah, it's always the first guys. Because you can't really get strong enough to- to level up and all that good stuff. I could try to grind mobs, but... One extra level, I mean, leveling up in this game, I don't know if it improves your stats at all. Because when it when I leveled up, all it did was give me that... That freaking uh, Black Pearl. Oh no. Channel that... what? Moo Cookie? <laughs> yeah. I hate how easy the first phase is. I hate it because it's so much easier, and it's actually fun to fight him in it. If you get hit in this one, it is because you're screwing up, and it is because I'm screwing up right now. I seem to do slightly more damage when it's two-handed, so I'm going to two-hand it. Oh, no. What have I done? I, I never know when he's going to do that. If he's too close when he uses that attack, you just instantly die. And by die, I mean take a hit. The battery power. I hate that stupid instant turnaround. It doesn't give you an opening. Ah. 
Oh no! 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 I'm alive? Oh. Okay. I thought I was dead. Because <laughs> he's in phase three, and phase three has no openings. BOOM! Yes! Oh, gosh. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Salt vanquished. That was insane. That was insane. <laughs> because I got so frustrated on that fight. That was more f frustratingly fair than probably any boss in Demon Souls, dude. <laughs> Yes, now play the Yankee the Danky Doodle thing. Here. I probably still have it here. I'll play it. You have to say right as we get the last hit. Oh, gosh. It's like you need to just uh, keep full HP and potions for phase three and then just tank through it. Exactly. Exactly. That is exactly what you need to do. <laughs> you need to save all of your potions for the final phase. And then just tank, because you don't get any opportunities to get some hits in. You just have to tank through it. It's your only shot. Is that it? I don't, I don't imagine I can just drop down over there. Oh boy. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, that was just crazy stuff. Did that take more shots with it two-handed? I think I made it harder for myself. Why would it take more shots two-handed? Oh! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Okay, I'm gonna go in there and murder that thing. Yeah, whenever we beat them, we need to come up with a dish name. We'll call him Wet Thor. I walked out, bam! <laughs> I got camped, dude. Imagine walking through a door and taking an axe to the face. We obviously do not have to redo the boss fight. We just have to fight the, the axe guy again. Whoa. That's the same amount of damage. I think. Yeah, there he is. I really have no more knives. That six. I will not fight both of you at the same time. Get off of me. Die! Thank you. Level up time. Haha. <laughs> Level up time. Huh. Stone cleric. Uh, can I drop down from here? I hope so, because I ain't getting back up. Ah, okay, good. A dish that takes focus, concentration. Don't feel bad about not getting it right the first time. Need a lot of salt. Just dump a whole thing in there. 
Hey, maybe we will be hearing Gangster's Paradise. Maybe some of the other songs sound like it. The salt in this game holds so many meanings. I will offer you a blacksmith and a clarique. Here he comes. Greetings, sir. Need some smithing? Yes, I do. A class zero hammer. Fair enough. And it takes a charred doll. Why the heck would I use a charred doll? What about my toge? A lock of hair. Duh. <laughs> what else would I be expecting? We're going to beat the whole game using only our basic chef layout. Trust me. Oh. Okay, triangle is to go back, and square is to ascend even further. Yes, yes, yes. Humble has a deal on manga, but has Eden zero. Hmm. Well, we've got three of these now, so we can become a class one sword fighter, a class one berserker. I don't need any of those, just because... Although it improves attack of strength-scaled weapons, like our pan. So that's probably the area we should go for, just because it increases uh, our strength. This also increases strength, and even gives us an extra point. Willpower determines your maximum stamina. That's good, too. Currently editing two beautiful clips from the stream to send me. By editing, you just mean making them look better, nothing special. Alright, cool. I'm excited. Remember the Danganronpa streams? Oh, yeah. Good times, indeed. <laughs> Let the good times roll. You know, swung her mace backhanded toward the Iron Helm of the last Night Raider standing. Mmm, yes. I think I'll go for this, uh, Berserker. Then we can go for Fortified Strength, which, uh, gives us a point of strength. And let's just wear, uh, Heavy Armor, or more Endurance. Which is max equip load. I'll go for the extra strength. The Strength. And I'll go for that as well, just so we can get the extra stamina. Are there any more Danganronpa video games that I could play? Don't think so. I think I've played them all. Hmm. Genshin has a game mode with 12 floors, and you get stars depending on your performance. Hmm. But yeah, most of the Danganronpa streams are gone, but thankfully we got at least the end of three. It started right at the death of Gonta. So fitting. Alright. Captain Kitchen doing good. Hello there. Do you need aid? Uh, you can teach us prayers like blessed weapons and stuff, but we're not prayers. No, no. We pray to ourselves, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, allow me to explain. I have a problem. That's beautiful. An anime moment through and through. We 
Okay, well, now that I've beaten the guy, where do I even go from here? There must be more in here that I can explore, but I didn't. I didn't see any. Anywhere I could go. Oh, whoa, whoa! Buddy, pal, my dude. Has my attack strength even improved? I leveled it up. to make a difference yet. It still takes too many shots. Even with my slightly increased stamina and attack strength. <laughs> that would also make a good sound clip. All the good sound clips. Make for some good memes. Uh, the limit of how many sound clips I can have on the board... I mean, I can theoretically have up to, like, 12. I think. Well, no, hold on. Like, 15? Yeah, victory, screech. Gotta check that out. It'll be loud. <laughs> uh, good times. Your phone is literally on 62%. Huh, just like last time. My phone's probably less than that. Yeah, sucks. Batteries uh, just don't last. How the heck do I get down there and unlock these freaking things? Quite reach that. You get over here. Stop it. are so weak. It is odd. Aha. A journey bottle. A what? A uh, glass bottle. What? Seems uncertain about remaining in this universe. How does a bottle feel uncertain? Ah, uh, you gotta go now? Alright. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. I hope you've enjoyed. It's been fun. I mean, we're gonna have to stop the stream in a little bit, too. Dang. You can go to play some Eden. Alright, have fun with that. Uh, weekend stream this week? No. But we are rapidly approaching the ability to again. Mend. Hmm. And the way through is always the last place you look. <gasps> is that audacity? Greetings, traveler. Do you have a quest? Yes. That's screwing a princess, hmm? Ah, uh, sort of. That was more of a side gig, honestly. I haven't seen any princesses, but don't lose hope, friend. Anyways, it's good to have a quest. Would you like to know what my quest is? Yes, sir. Excellent. My quest is to invade that castle to the east, defeat its guardians, and slay the dragon. As uh, simple as they could be. Hey, castles must be invaded and dragons must be slain, mustn't they? For now, you're... you're audacity. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> you seem very audacity. Whoa, and just a, a rogue black pearl. It's a free level. And cotton trousers. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, pitchfork. Secret, secret, <laughs> secret door to the right. Hmm, did you know I could do a strong attack like this? Neat. I see no door. Maybe it's up here. That wouldn't be very secret then, would it? Until I run into a more important one, yeah. They seem just unimportant enough to be audacity. And yes, the game does have guns. Which is interesting. Self bow? What the heck is a self bow? A bow made of yourself? Taking your own bones and turning it into a bow. Oh no, I hit the wrong thing. Why did those ones fall? Hmm. If I could make the, the frying pan, if I could dual wield them and treat it like a shield, it could probably block and defend against bullets. <laughs> Shoot yourself as an arrow. Imagine that. That's basically what Luigi does in Smash Brothers. Mining bolt. Oh, dark. Oh gosh, what am I looking at? Hello. Ah! That's scary. That is nightmare. Is that nightmare? It's a true nightmare. I think it is. That thing is obviously supposed to be blocking our path. Ah, what's that? It's a dude with rattly chains. The Grim Reaper, oh, not again. Ah! Oh, a stone guide. Oh, ah, sweet, a shortcut leads right back. And that is totally a full on SCP if I've ever seen one. Oh, Grant's item find bonus. Greetings, friend. Oh, and you can travel and shop from the guy. To travel to any sanctuary with a guide in it. Ah. Oh. Yes. Okay, yeah, so there's multiple sanctuaries, and I can travel between them. Neato. That <laughs> bat mole, just incredibly blind. Can you imagine that? They would actually be blind instead of people just thinking that they are. I mean, they could hear and probably smell anything at that point, though. Woman with sword. Ooh, a woman with a sword. I'm in. I don't know what I'm talking about. Village of Smiles. Okay. So this is what has become. <laughs> oh, things didn't go for them very well very fast, did it? Ah! I took a piano to the face! Oh. Is this, is this a settlement of the Smilers? <laughs> the Leonists must have settled here after forming the cult. I cannot even imagine <laughs> the coincidence of that. that. We would make up a group who always smiles and always feels joy, and then we find a village of smiles. What the heck, man? This is beyond me. This guy's tough. Hmm. 
We've got to find Dragonborn or anybody else. Yeah, fate is just working with our lore at this point. Can't kill him! He won't freaking die! Ah, oh, no, that's going to be a problem getting my stuff back. I should have just bailed. It just works. It just works. I mean, yeah, it's exactly like Omega Ruby, where everything just magically coincides beautifully. How could that possibly fit into the lore that we arbitrarily made up on the spot? I don't know. They're leanest zombies. They've got extra, extra strength power. Mm, Theus and Dragon Dragonborn trained them to the fullest. Ah, I tried to dodge roll away, it didn't work. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get past that without getting friggin' nailed, but oh no, I forgot you were here. What? Oh no! I don't even have to kill him. I just have to get my souls out of him. I mean, my salts. Ah, he's also got the, the double things. Okay, how many times do I have to hit him? I wish I could just hit him once and then get it back. steps. Mm -hmm. ah, I can attack endless times. Uh, did I watch the lore videos you sent yesterday? Not yet. Didn't have a whole lot of time. Ah, yeah, there was no way. I can't beat the guy. He's just too strong. Also, you lose 2,000 salt forever. Whoop you do Keep it. Yeah, we're not expecting Captain Kitchen to have a direct connection to the Soulsborne universe. That would just be subtle, but nope. Straight up town. <laughs> Who follows the teachings of Fetus? I mean, come on. Alright, yeah, 3 p.m. Alright, catch you next time. Yeah, the aura shows that they're just too powerful. The Leonists are beyond our strength. Ow, my ankles. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, crud. Oh, dang it. I was just trying to use the freaking ladder. That's what happens when you start to rush, like I did. Does that gold... I mean... I mean, I... Uh... They don't take that much gold, I guess. They take quite a bit, but... Dang, I'm surprised they make you lose anything for dying. That bronze knight is just a monster. I just need to find that, uh, that doll or something that lets me upgrade my weapon. But I don't know where the heck I can find it. Upgrading seems to work very different in this game. <laughs> Patches are the only survivor of the zombie apocalypse. I believe that. With Dragonborn's, uh, Dragonborn's dying wish, he asked him to find fetus for him. Such a depressing story. I'm a joke. <laughs> hey, that's how we do. Why is he running like that? Die already? Are you kidding me? 
I hit you four times! Okay. I'm getting angry. <laughs> the, the salt is real. I can't go in that direction. Please tell me I don't have to go there yet because I'm not strong enough. I just get iced. I know there's another path. One of the other paths I saw led to the freaking Eldritch monster. Oh, no, 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 no. Down I go. Ouch. Oh, maybe that guy's strong because he is Dragonborn. You have a point. He is a knight. He does have the armor. That could be him. He's just defending his home. Because we're just marching in. I can't fight the Grim Reaper either, can I? The Grim Reaper Reaper. These bat wings better be good for something. is that? Why can't I hit it? That thing, I didn't even see that in here. What is it? Get lost, you stupid bat! Oh my gosh! I'm too angry. Bats frustrate me. Yeah, maybe he's not a zombie quite yet. Or it's just the aftermath of him becoming a zombie. Hmm. So many paths. Well, that doesn't count. Now does it? And yeah, what Dan said earlier that uh, at least the game automatically gives me heals. Thank you very much. I don't know. I couldn't get by. I don't like bats. They're coarse and rough and irritating, and they get everywhere. That is strangely accurate. Sorry, Eldritch. I'm out. I'm not out. I got your thing, though. No! My mage idol! Guy sitting there with the barrels? I'm uh, pretty sure I did, yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Back here. Good, I completely forgot about the bandage pass. Pass. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, even as a zombie, his, his muscle memory just keeps him going. We do eventually have to put him out of his misery, that much is for sure. Woman ahead. Heard that last time, too. Oh, there she is. Hello, traveler. You're a stranger to Devara's light, are you not? Indeed, I am. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hey, she's got a mace. Just like a follower of God. Oh, hello. Who the heck are you? You look familiar. <laughs> walks in, prays, walks out. The dawn of the next day is her blessing. Gas is quelled, order is restored. Oh, this is your guys' sanctuary. I could take an oath to it, but forget that. Maybe Patches was hiding behind that door because he had a zombie bite and didn't want to infect Fetus by accident. He was hiding instead of actively searching for him. The zombie actually, the zombie infection turned him into a spider. That's what happened. <laughs> a cursed nightmare spider. It does fit. Stone cell sword. That's right. I could have gotten that early if I wanted to. 
Beware ambush. Mmm, sneaky. A bag of salt and a flanged mace. A weapon of choice of fetus. <laughs> they encourage speed running, so their prayers only take a couple seconds and then they're out. I like that. The guy just showed up. Whoa! What the heck? What the heck was I looking at? An illusion? Abandon all hope. All ye who enter. Oh, gosh. A lot of people dead. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, no, I'm getting flashbacks. Not the Valley of Defiant once again. Water of Blessing. Okay, actually... Oh, okay, I gotta switch back then. Because it, re it, re it replenished it with uh, its own thing. But we don't want any stinky water of blessing. That's kind of cool, though. So wait, is it then based... So it is based on the Covenant. Or the Creed. Boom! Boom! Oh, gosh. Whoa, that was awesome. I gotta do that more. Ah! Okay, whatever. I'll be back. Drowned just means that they are zombies. They're drowned in the virus. So wait, merely sitting at this makes it one? Okay. The one I've got, I could go for more endurance, but that's not really that useful. I just want to go to the one to the left and won't let me. What is this stupid game? Okay, I'm just kidding. Only good goblins are dead goblin. Everyone knows that. This again helps stamina, which is, again, good. I'll go for that just because it's basic. Gives us some extra strength. A defender is nice. Does nothing increase defense? I want to go for that. Hey, at least, uh, now, we can just spawn right outside. Thank you. Drowned peasants here. I think I have now become slightly stronger to the point where I can kill them more easily. Tricky buggers. That one's got my salt. Of course, the one with the big friggin' shield got all my salt, you jerk. There you go. They just keep coming. How'd I miss one? Oh, he's dodging! How are they so smart? Apparently, lightsabers are a lot harder than Captain America's shield's melting point. Is it? I mean, what's the melting point of vibranium? I assume pretty high. Uh, I mean, if you were uh, any series of Twitter, you probably wouldn't like being sent R34 images, but of uh, of, your, of your own franchise. I would assume not. Fall guys R34? What are people doing? I mean, it, it doesn't surprise me at all, but... Maybe I ought to just run past these guys.
Oh no, Hammer Brothers. That's absolutely what they are. Oh, whoa! Oh. oh, they can throw stuff at you in a 2D game. That's a problem. Big problem. Unless you're Netflix. Ugh, maybe. You honestly wouldn't, uh, wouldn't care, of course, but... I mean... I'm not sure if they care that it exists, but it being sent to them is a... It's a different story, I guess. Where these wolves come from? Speedrun! If only I had a bow. Oh gosh. Oh, hello. Well, well, well. Like the end of the road for you, friend. Oh gosh, he's gonna fight us right now. Remember, serves me right. The obelisk here is your door into the castle. Oh. And I can't do anything with it. The key, however. Now that's a different story. Perhaps you should search the area below those seaside ruins where a forgotten feast festers. I thought it said feast feasters at first. I can go back. Ow. Just give me a sec to not get owned. I'm not trying to talk to him! Just let me out of here! Enemies should just stay back when you're freaking talking to somebody. But... I get why they don't. The melting point is 5.5 thousand degrees Fahrenheit, apparently. Yeah, and a lightsaber would be more than that. I mean, the tracking, ugh. It's a whole other thing. Yeah, so it's gonna make, I can't go over there. It's a dead end. Yeah, the lesson is kill everything as you, as you go past him. It's a good lesson. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, they put a strong enemy in such a weird, awkward place to fight. Especially in the dark, where on YouTube, where you guys probably can't see squat in there. Now, yeah, what time is it? It's been about eh, 2 hours, 14 minutes. <laughs> it's probably good enough for now. Let me look at my bestiary. Feral beast, huh? And the bronze knight. Well-armored knight, powerful warriors, patrol the island. Mm-hmm. Crying the drowned and hunting the living. Zombie-esque. Drowned bandits, the unspeakable deep, otherwise known as Cthulhu-chan. A Kraken. Right, they have a name, but they don't want to say it. Rotten Walker, Crossbowman, Marauder. Where's that thing I fought? I mean, if I never attacked it, does it count? Salt Bat. Oh! Oh, okay, if you die and nothing claims it, the Salt Bat shows up. That's weird. Are those things I fought not in the frickin' bestiary? I guess it's because I... Well, no, I attacked the Grim Reaper thing. It's just not in here. I guess you have to kill it. That makes... Well, I, I didn't kill the Unspeakable Deep, though. I didn't kill him either, so that doesn't make sense. Yeah, we're just gonna call it for the week. A Lord Ramsey edition of Rick Roll, but that has not been made yet somehow. Shocking. Come on, guys. I'm sure he said 
something that could be sentence mixed into it somewhere through vocoding and the like. Oh well. We had fun. <laughs> we had we had our challenges taking out the first boss, but next week we're going to come back fresh and rejuvenated, ready to face what lies ahead. I used up all my patience and Dark Souls energy taking out the Sodden Knight, but next week we'll be fully ready to take on whatever challenges lie ahead. I think so. So thanks everybody. Hope y'all have had a good time. I did. It was fun indeed. It's great seeing the, the beginnings of Captain Kitchen here. And two great clips already. Amazing. Especially the anime classes. I didn't even realize. I was just like, now hold on. Yeah, it's, it's great. Allow me to explain. I uh, tried to eat an apple. It's good on the outside, but once you bit in, immediately regretted it. Ugh. Gross. It does, that, that, that can happen. But yeah, next week, Wednesday, 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight. We continue on in our Salt and Sanctuary journey. Once we start uh, finding ways to get levels more easily and can start upgrading our frying pan, maybe find a second frying pan and dual wield those things, it's going to go great. Wasn't your rod of the siege were just moldy? Ugh. How long was it sitting there? Oh, it might have to be out a while, I guess. But then it probably would have rotten. Would have gotten rotten. Hmm. I think Kitchen judges you. For not knowing it was rotten. Yeah. For it being too raw. Raw. It was freshly bought? Ugh. They, they kept it in poor conditions then, didn't they? They let mold seep into it. Gross. Yeah, it must have been the store, or wherever you got it from, keeping it in bad condition. Ah, Gordon Ramsay memes. I'll try to find some clips of that and put them on the soundboard by Wednesday. Hey, I know. I'll use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan. Yeah. We were probably getting wet from that water, but our frying pan was helping us out. All the other apples are perfect. Eh, food is weird. Food is very strange sometimes. But yeah, like I said, this is it. Next week, we're going to continue with his adventures. See just how salty we can get against the bosses. What link did you just send? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, never change, Gordon Ramsay. Never change. You're a treasure. We all love you. Especially the people who you yell at. They love you the most. But anyway, thanks guys. Hope to catch you next time. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next live stream. Later. Thanks, Dad. Down some Gordon quotes. Play them yourself whenever you beat or die to a boss. Absolutely.